Here is how to create a stylized barrel in Blender to make your game's environment look better. Make sure to watch till the end to know how to export correctly to a game engine with all the textures applied. So start by removing the default cube and add a cylinder. Reduce its vertices to about 16 and scale it up on a Z axis. Add 2 loop cuts and scale up. Then add about 5 more loop cuts at the center. Enable proportional editing with button O and scale up from the middle loop. Switch to wireframe view, select the bottom faces and delete them. Then go to normal to clearly see what's happening and add a mirror modifier on the Z axis. Select the top face and insert with button I, then extrude inwards on the Z axis. It did the same thing on the lower half of the object. Now add 3 loop cuts on the upper half and select this ring of faces then duplicate with shift T. Press P and separate by selection. You can then rename these two objects accordingly. I called one rings and the other barrel. Then hide the rings and let's work on the barrel for now. Select any vertical edge first, then select edge rings and then select edge loops. Use Ctrl B to bevel these edges and scale up to the wanted size. Then press Alt E, select extrude along normals and move inwards. Back to object mode, apply the mirror modifier and add a bevel modifier, then apply. It looks good, so let's unhide the ring and work on that too. So extrude the rings with E and scale up to the wanted size. Then make sure you are in edit mode. Add a UV sphere and reduce its segments to 18. Switch to wireframe view and move the sphere away from the main mesh. Then select the side faces of the sphere and delete them. Back to normal view, scale down the sphere and try to position on the rings with the correct rotation. Now with the spin tool, click on the plus button and change number of steps to 8. That's good, but they don't move correctly. So click on use duplicates and then delete the initial one. That's all good and the two objects are separated for easier modifications. So now select the two objects and join them with Ctrl G. This joins the objects but they are still separately accessible in edit mode. Modeling the barrel is over. Now let's start texturing. Duplicate the barrel and rename it to LP for low poly. Now select the low poly and add a decimate modifier. It shows about 7000 vertices, which is too much. So reduce this ratio to about 0.1 and select shade flat. As you can see, we lost a little bit of geometry here. So increase that to about 0.13. It's about 1000 vertices, so apply the modifier. Now split the view and select the UV editor. Select everything, press U and choose Smart UV Project. Slightly increase the margin and click on OK. Change this to the shader editor and create a new material called Barrel. Create an image texture node and add a new image called AO. Set width and height to 2K, disable alpha and now click OK. Now unhide the high poly barrel, select it first then select the low poly barrel. Switch to cycles for baking. Change bake type to ambient occlusion and enable selected to active. Set ray distance to 0.03 and hit the bake button. After baking, move to UV editor and that's it. So save as an image. Back to the shader editor, duplicate this image node, close the image and create a new one called normal. Make sure the barrels are selected and change this to normal, then hit bake. Wait for it to bake. There it is in the UV editor, so save it as an image. Let's apply these textures to our barrel. So switch to EV to make it faster and unhide the high poly barrel. Go to rendered view and in user preferences, search and enable node wrangler. Press Ctrl Shift and click on a node to preview its effect. Do same on principal BSDF to reset. Add a mix RGB node and change to multiply, connect to image and set its magnitude to 1. Color 2 is a base color so select a suitable base color and connect its output to the shader's base color. Make sure to change the base color as much as you want. Then add a color ramp in between these two and click on the plus button. 
Change the middle color to a reddish brown color and see its effect when moving the slider. Add another brown color in between these two sections. Now in edit mode, select the rings and the spheres with button L and add a new material called rings. To make it look like metal, increase the metallic value and decrease the roughness. I think that's good enough. Select the barrel material and connect the normal so it looks just like the high poly barrel, even if it is low poly. Then add a normal map on this link and to fix these color variations, change this to object space. It looks better, so now we need to mix all this visual into one image for exporting to different game engines. So let's replace these three nodes by a single image. Add an image texture node with a new image called Diffuse Barrel. Do the same for the rings material. Make sure those nodes are selected and switch to cycles for baking. Change the bake type to diffuse, disable direct and indirect influence, uncheck selected to active and bake. After baking, it is available in the UV editor, so save as an image. Do same for diffuse rings. Back to the shader editor, you can remove these three nodes. Let's view it faster in EV. Replacing this connection, it gives the same result with only one image. Connect for the rings too. And it is done. Now to export, select your barrel, click on export, rename it, check selected objects, change pad mode to copy and check this image box. This will embed your textures for proper exporting. Click on export. This is a game scene in Unity. So drag and drop the exported barrel and it has no textures. So just click on extract textures and that's it. Click on fix now if asked to. That's it. Your game asset is ready to be used in your game. By the way, this is a game I am currently working on, so make sure to subscribe for updates and other tutorials. Thanks.